Commander? You probably shouldn't call me that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. Yeah, hell of a thing. We broke our oath to defend the Alliance so we can keep it. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? Are we mutinied? We stole a prototype warship? If they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. We're a hell of an example of humanity's best and brightest, huh? I keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. I don't believe me yet. Well, if I didn't think you were doing the right thing, I wouldn't be here. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know... Well... I've enjoyed serving under you. You're still hesitating? After all we've been through together... What are you afraid of? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the regs against fraternization seem kind of petty now. Taking a stolen ship to face a giant extra-galactic war machine. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about losing you, and I can't stand it. And the galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I... We... Are important right now. And this is what will never happen again. Us. Shepard, you make me feel... Human. Bunk here tonight, Caden. With me. Is that an order, Commander? Caden, you make me feel like I could take on the universe. And right now, I kinda have to. This can't change anything, Shepard. This is a good crew, the finest I've served with. I don't want to mess it up. It's been a long time since I've met a woman who, uh... Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. You're a sweetheart, Caden. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. I swear, though, if anything happens to you... Take care, Shepard. 